Hello, and thank you for joining me on another one of my lifestyle series videos. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dimitri, and I'm an American expat living in the Philippines. Here, I'm going to share with you how my life is going living in Metro Manila. If you find this video entertaining, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And now, sit back, relax, and enjoy as I take in a journey of my daily life as a time-lapse traveler. That's one of the things that you will only find in the Philippines. Hey there, so we're at the Terra 28th Street Park, uh, having a picnic over here. That's really the reason why we're not wearing our masks right now, because we're having some potato chips, cupcakes, and, you know, some other snacks here and there. Just kind of enjoying our time after spending some uh, after <laughs> after hanging out at the high street and uh, going to central square not a bad day today kind of an overcast so we're not getting burned by the sun a uh, good time to hang out lots of people over here not too crowded so we have enough space to just be by ourselves and enjoy some of the scenery <laughs> so, so cute. Yep, nice place to hang out. Because Chris has a lot of difficulty walking, we don't get to go out of the house much. And when we do, it's usually only to go somewhere close to our house. Which is the reason why this park, being only a very short walk away, is such a popular place for us to visit. This is where Chris gets a lot of her much needed exercise. Right now, she's able to make up to three laps inside this park before we typically have to end our walks here. This time, however, we decided to just take it easy and relax out on the lawn for a change. This park is also very popular for the neighborhood kids. People coming here to do some jogging, dance practice, kickboxing, or other kinds of workout routines Couples come here as well as others who come here to walk their dogs and always clean up after them, by the way. Being located in such a nice area, this park is always kept clean and safe, with maintenance, attendance and security who are almost always visible in the park. There are some times when Chris has more difficulty with walking than other days. Here you can see just how much of a struggle it can be to simply take a few steps. Once we find a long straight path however, she can typically walk much better in what I call her cruising mode. Unfortunately when we're at home, that is simply not possible, so getting around is always very challenging indoors. I also have to make sure to be able to lean her up against something very stable so that she doesn't fall in case I need to leave her by herself briefly to do something which requires me to use both of my hands. Keeping Chris safe and making sure she doesn't get hurt is always my first priority. And that's the end of the show. The day is uh, coming so close, well, at least for our outing here today. So we're heading back home. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Always take care of yourselves and each other. And uh, as always, look forward for more videos coming at you from the Time Lapse Traveler. Right? Right. <laughs> there you go.